hi guys and welcome back to another vlog so these vlogs i'm gonna do a little differently i'm gonna voice over them so here we were just driving all day that day we drove through wyoming and no offense if you live in wyoming but um it sucks so bad um it was actually the worst day of the entire trip um driving through that barren wasteland but we finally made it to denver and we stayed at this really really super cool hotel um, it was very millennial style, very trendy, very hip. Uh, I loved how they decorated the lobby and like all the elevators were decorated differently. And even our room key looked like a little composition notebook, which you're about to see, but I've never seen something like that. Like it was just so, so cool. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, the whole entrance is a camper and they're playing a movie right now. One thing I really loved about this trip and definitely about Colorado is they're very pet friendly everywhere and there were so many cute dogs. Um, that's besides the point, but this is the rest of the lobby and um, we're about to go walking downtown and we saw these really weird blue trees. I'm not sure what the purpose of them was or why they were blue. Um, definitely very interesting. Denver was not crowded at all, which I wasn't expecting. There was no traffic or anything. And another really weird thing about Denver is everything closes at like 6 o'clock at night. And I googled it and it said because they like to eat early and go to sleep early which is really funny so yeah and then there was some really nice music playing here outside downtown denver and their little strip mall um but yeah that's all for that day we just traveled all freaking day long and then finally we were in denver and then here we're traveling to breckenridge colorado that place seriously stole my heart Breckenridge was absolutely amazing and can I just say that the scenery in Colorado is stunning and does anybody else just is obsessed um sorry <laughs> driving through mountains as I am because I just think it's the coolest thing ever and like how do they even build something like that without the entire mountain falling on top of you like look at how freaking amazing this is I don't know maybe that's just me but I think that that is so so cool So in this clip, we are actually driving to Loveland Pass. And if you've driven on this road before, you can understand the anxiety that we were enduring on this road. So there's no guardrails and it is a straight shot downward, <laughs> which is so nerve wracking. Like the slightest sneeze and like you're off the mountain pretty much. Like that's what it feels like. And it was very scary. Um, but we had finally made it up there and here you can see there is a no guardrails at all My mom was literally going like 20 miles an hour But like I said, we finally made it up the mountain safely We got to Loveland Pass and that's where the Continental Divide is and that's where I guess You know some of the water flows that's to the Atlantic and to the Pacific I'm not 100% sure and the elevation is 11,000 feet and let me tell you, I was really, really struggling going up these steps. I didn't realize it was going to be so hard for me to breathe. So I live in Delaware and we live at zero sea level. And to me, I never thought anything about sea level and all that kind of stuff. Like, I didn't think it affected our bodies, but it truly does. I was like, I freaking need oxygen in a tank and I can't breathe. <laughs> That's literally how I felt. We tried to climb that trail up that mountain and I just could not make it. I really couldn't breathe and my heart was beating so fast. Craziest thing I've ever experienced, but I mean, definitely worth the hike. Like these views are nothing that I've ever seen before living in Delaware. So it was very cool. And here I am being a model. <laughs> Something else that I really love when I go traveling is seeing lakes. There's just something about lakes and pine trees and mountains that I really, really love. Um, you know, living in Delaware, we just have our beaches and lakes aren't a thing here. So for me, I love lakes. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think they're really cool. 
So now we were going on our way to Sapphire Point, which was just a lookout over a lake. Um, I guess it was supposed to look like sapphire, like a very light, pretty blue. And of course it did. It did not disappoint. And we saw some really cute little animals. We saw a chipmunk. Um, there was a bird that flew in. If somebody could leave me in the comments what kind of bird that, uh, that was, because I'm not sure. But the chipmunk was so cute. And he was definitely posing like, look at him. Uh, he's just so cute. So now, after the um, Sapphire Point Overlook, we were on our way to Breckenridge. Now, sadly, I don't know why, but I didn't record enough in Breckenridge, and I wish I recorded more. So we started our little day trip there, riding the gondola, which is like what they use for skiers and stuff. Um, and then I think they were having some kind of car show. There was a ton of vintage old cars, and we saw a baby blue Ford Bronco. Um, I went to Starbucks and they had a ton of their mugs, like the collection ones, which was really cool from all over. And there was even like this little river in the middle of the little town that you could get in. Like, how cool was that? I mean, although the water was absolutely freezing, it was like crystal clear, which is <laughs> so cool and definitely don't have any kind of crystal clear water in Delaware. And then we got some gelatos and it was really yum. Um... Yeah, but Breckenridge was definitely very, very cute, and I 10 out of 10 recommend if you're anywhere near the Denver area, you need to go to Breckenridge. I definitely do want to make a trip back, back there, and um, we even went to go see a troll in Breckenridge. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the one we needed to be on. Yeah. How interesting is that? So apparently that troll is 15 feet tall and it's made out of all of recycled like wood, I guess. <laughs> That's really awesome. Um, definitely don't see anything like that where I'm from. But yeah, Breckenridge, I absolutely fell in love with. I would love to see it with the snow on the mountains and even try skiing. Um, but it's just a, such a cute little quaint town and there's like a bunch of outdoor seating and actually Breckenridge was more crowded than Denver was which was really really weird um there's definitely a lot more people out there um you did have to wear your mask the entire time even outside and um but there was like a lot of dogs and they were really really cute um they had a lot of like really not like cool vintage like clothing shops um you know some really girly stuff and then, yeah, sorry, I keep stumbling on my words. Here we are at the entrance of the Red Rocks in Colorado. I can't remember like what the real name of it was, but I like Red Rock something stadium theater something. I don't know. It was outside. Very cool. I never knew what it was until my mom brought us there. And it was just very insane to see this. It was kind of like it just came out of nowhere. We were driving and then boom, it like the climate totally changed and it was more deserty and these like gigantic rock formations were everywhere. And then it was so cool how to think that they just decided to carve like a, um, a stadium there and just have like the awesome scenery. Like I would love to see like some type of concert or something there, but it was also like very cool to see like a bunch of other people there. Um, they were all doing the same thing, just walking around, sitting on the stadium. Um, and let me tell you how hard it was to walk down the stairs and back up. I felt like I was going to die again because of the altitude. Like, oh my gosh, that was the worst. And then, me, I could have barely walked up them steps. There was men, grown men, and I swear they were fighting over their, like, egos and mascul masculinity. But they were all running up the stadium seats right there like can you don't even want to know how hard it was walking now these guys were like gigantic and buff and running up these stairs like what in the world oh my god
So later that night, I ended up going thrift shopping and I found some really, really good stuff. And this was called an ARC thrift shop. And let me tell you, it's the best thrift shop I've ever been in my life. And then <laughs> here we are at the Denver International Airport. And this is Lucifer. Guys, if you don't know about the Denver International Airport, just go watch some videos. Um, I really recommend the Kendall Ray one. <laughs> but why what is the purpose of this gigantic blue scary red glowing eye horse sorry this was like four in the morning and i was unable to like concentrate on what i was filming i was just trying to get this dang horse but that is just so <laughs> creepy like and then apparently like the guy who was building this horse the head or something fell on him it severed an artery in his leg and he died so why is that thing like in the front of the airport like that is just so creepy and then here in the next clip you can see like apparently it costs like billions and billions of dollars to build this airport and there was still construction going on and then here was a bunch of like look at look at that like what is that i don't even understand the weird paintings that it was weird and then those are the little flingy things on the wall and the um tram yeah it was weird guys